Welcome back. Same day, different video. Still checking in on Struggle Street over here. Hey dude, we're not doing too bad. We're actually almost there. So he's almost got his uh, intake manifold off right now. He's getting that thing pulled all out. And we are working on series gray in the background. And as you guys probably saw in the last video, I was complaining about not having AC. I promised you guys I would show you what the belt is. If you have an ATI pulley on your car and you have a stretch belt, this is the part number you will need for it to work properly because that thing was a literal pain. You can get the stockings on. It's just really difficult. Um, so that is the correct belt that actually fits this and it's not over tight, but it has a good amount of tension on it. You can still just barely turn it. So that is where it needs to be. Now, what we need to do on this thing, I told you guys it has an exhaust leak on the header. It is cracked. So we are gonna be getting that off today. So this is a ETS twin scroll header on here. This is a whole twin scroll turbo kit. Um, in no way, shape, or form is this their fault. This thing was previously heat wrapped, and I'm really not a big fan of heat wrap. I've seen this be pretty common with the heat wrap manifolds where it does hold condensation in and they crack. This manifold looks like it's pretty weathered and it ended up cracking. So I'm gonna get this thing pulled off. I knew this thing had a damn exhaust leak, guys. It just, it sounded too much like one and it didn't sound like header. And then I finally got down there and it was hidden on the inside of the runners. So I'll show you guys once again. I know I showed you in the last video, but we'll go creep under here. Holy shit, this thing's freaking hot. Oh, I made that mistake leaving that thing in the sun. Oh, such a hot creeper. So I know I'm really close down here. So we have our manhole, twin scroll, right? One and two pipe. So right there, holy shit, that is a big crack, guys. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up. It's on that upper one and it is cracked so bad. like at least halfway around the pipe here and it, so obviously it goes like this on that pipe so we need to get this thing off this thing is a pain in the dick to get off because obviously there's no flex in this header um she is completely cooled down now so don't take these off when they're warm guys or it'll deform and they'll never go back on but they're still going to be a living freaking pain to get these off i really never wanted to pull these things back off unless we were you know doing some motor work instead of just pulling this off to fix a crack but we're gonna have to take this off here and we have three bolts looks like they're actually pretty easy to get to and this one's gonna be a fun one and these ones i know i tightened the living shit out of these things so we're gonna have fun of that we gotta take our o2 sensor out you know the basics of getting a manifold off we have our normal six bolts on the head so i'm gonna go grab my ratchet get that thing pulled off here and i will be able to show you guys further on the crack that is on the manifold and we'll be taking this thing out, get it welded, get that fixed. Also, I did listen to you guys and I knew I was going to anyways. I ordered a .82 exhaust housing for this thing. I think it's actually .85 or .86 is what it is for the twin scroll. So I ordered that to get rid of this uh, 1.15, really big exhaust housing, which would be great if we were going for, you know, 800 wheel or the moon. And uh, this thing is just too big for this car. You know, I'm gonna fix the header and we're gonna see how that does but I'm sure it's still gonna be just as lazy as it is. So stay tuned for that. That's obviously, I just ordered it, so it's gonna take probably a week to come in. And I'm gonna grab this tools, get this header off, and I'm gonna show you guys this crack. Bam, got this header off. And taking a look here, we were not leaking at all. That one spot uh, I thought we were leaking, it wasn't, because I mean, we take a look at our gaskets here. They're completely clean, guys, so we weren't leaking out of the actual manifold ahead which is good i'm happy with that that means we're flat and we weren't looking here on the up pipe but we obviously have this thing is cracked and it's freaking heavy so let me sit this down all right get this damn thing out of here holy shit ah freaking heavy ass thing okay so let's finally show you guys where is things cracked Oh yeah, it's a big ass crap, guys. Hopefully this thing's picking it up, but literally from all the way from here, all the way around to the bottom of the runner there, it is all cracked. So pretty much this whole runner is almost separated right now. So we're gonna have to get that done. I would like to get these things coated. The whole kit I would like to get coated because this thing looks so freaking crusty, it's disgusting. But hey man, if it works, it works, I guess, right? I just wish it looked clean and new just being picky but 
that sucks but we'll get it fixed i'm gonna load this thing up in the truck and we'll take it out tomorrow because i gotta go to ranchville anyways and we gotta pick up va which will probably be the title of this video is what i'm thinking and we have some updates along with that car as well i definitely want to talk to you guys about and share with as you guys know we've been super transparent so we're gonna have some things that we need to share and talk about our race day that's coming up at the end of the month so you'll probably see me tomorrow morning when we're taking the scene out to ranchville and getting the scene welded and pick up va good morning guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to be heading out to ranchville to get that header welded for gray because you just saw that we were just post about that and i have it loaded up into the truck right now it's tucked all the way up in the back there got our straps because we need to go pick up a uh, va bait from ranch built this morning as well and i have some not so great news for that thing unfortunately but i'm gonna wait till we get there i need to go pick up uh josh's trailer now this thing's probably transitioning as we get in the truck gotta go pick up josh's trailer so we can go pick up the car and then we're gonna get into today's topic and what's going on with va bait and we need to update on our race that we're trying to go to at the end of the month, which is for IFO. That is gonna be up over at Pacific Raceways in Kent. I think it's Kent, it's Tacoma, somewhere over there. It's over in Seattle. So we're gonna be doing that. So we have a lot of stuff to get prepared. Um, Travis is planning on coming, Josh, he is planning on coming. We need to go over Josh's tune because his wastegate doesn't seem like it's listening to what we want to do at all so we need to either one replace this boost controller or two uh reroute the way that it's connected we have a three port on the car right now it's connected to the bottom and the top of the gate and it just it does not want to listen guys i mean i could have 30 percent duty cycle in it and it wants to just go to the moon so we're gonna reroute it either just to the bottom of the gate or we're gonna end up putting a four port on it seeing how we're getting pretty close for time frame i imagine we're just gonna run it to the bottom of the gate we have enough spring pressure in that thing to be able to run 40 to 45 pounds after that i think it's going to start tapering off so that's what we got to start talking about today too so definitely just like a, a bit of an update video for you guys trying my best to keep these daily uploads coming i'll tell you what guys it is a ton of work um i've been working on the website in the background like i told you guys and for once there is some proof of that so on the website if you click down in our description there you'll see we always have our website down there for people that are new to the channel thank you for coming along and hopefully we have some great content to be bringing you soon but we did update our website our new cocktail is that we just posted about is on the website now um there's not very many available just because i'm working towards getting built up guys getting more stock built up and we're we're growing so definitely trying to push my way through it you know it's the only way you can learn is by doing so that's what we're doing big shout out to all you guys for watching and supporting the channel thank you so much guys i love working with all you guys and i can't wait to keep bringing you guys some better content so let's get on the road let's go get that trailer get it hooked up and then let's go out the ranch built and we're gonna talk about today what's going on and why has va bait been at ranch built for so long you guys are all gonna find out soon and we're gonna get this dane header welded for gray and we might take it out and see if we're getting better um better power band out of the car see if it's coming in the boost sooner so definitely stay along guys let's go get this trailer no let's see how good i do this time i swear if this thing i end up doing worse at hooking the dane trailer up when I'm sitting here watching this and I got all these fancy cameras, but it always seems like you do worse when you have these things. So let's see how I do this time. I'm going along here. Let's see, I think Josh's truck is taller than mine. God damn it, every time. Look at, I'm off now. Oh, that looks pretty freaking close. Here, we got another freaking view on here. This Lamborghini, that's the wrong view. What about that one? See, we're off but I should be able to move it over. That'll be good. All right, let's set our parking brake here and let's get out, do the same. Ugh. Let's see uh, how close I am. Oh, I'm not that bad. I'm definitely not that great, but I'm not that bad. All right, let's get this thing on here. 
see if I can move this one handed. Just down. Come on. There she goes. Maybe. Boy, I need W40 that. So while I'm loading this up here, I'm sure some of you probably are always curious, why are you always using Josh's trailer or Ranch Built's trailer? And they are awesome for letting me do that. But I definitely want my own trailer, guys. We just haven't decided because if we don't have a, a racetrack next year, then I want to do a two-car trailer. And with that, obviously, it's, I'm looking at gooseneck setups. And thankfully, when I bought my truck here, you can see I got one cover off there. It's already ready to be a gooseneck. And I just purchased the OEM kit from GMC. And it literally just drops in there. So that I can have the gooseneck. So I have been I have been looking, but we have lots of things going on. I'm making big changes everywhere. So you guys will see more as we go into the, probably about the next month or two that we are making changes everywhere. And then obviously I bought a new truck, which wasn't really needed, but I wanted it. And I love my new truck, don't get me wrong. And um, we'll end up getting a, Jesus, get a trailer of our own here. I just, like I said, I didn't know if we're gonna have a track or not, because if we don't have a track, then I want a two car trailer. And then if we do have a track, then we could probably get away of just having a one car trailer because then the wife will just race here instead of taking them both somewhere else. So that's my little talk about that. I'm gonna get all the stuff loaded up in the truck, get the same plugged in, and we're gonna get back on the road, guys. Now we're all loaded up. Let's go get on the road and we'll get the ranch built. And we'll get to talking about why I say today's not a good day. So. You guys have to stay tuned to see what I mean. Well guys, after about a 45 minute hour drive, we are here at Ranch Built. You guys know they don't usually like having us record here because, well, they're just not used to having cameras around them. So I don't care, that doesn't bother me. Hopefully it doesn't bother you guys. Here's VA, I'm gonna get her on the trailer. We're also gonna grab this header out of here and I'm gonna have them re-weld that too. And then once we get this thing on the trailer and I get away from them, then I'll talk to you guys about what's going on with VA and our race day. So let me go ahead, go bug them, get this header welded, get the car on the trailer, and then we can talk. All right, we got the car loaded up, and as you can tell, I'm on our way back to the house. Actually, we're going to go get lunch with Andrew, and let's talk about VA a little bit. So unfortunately, VA will not be racing at the end of the month, and I want to be straight up with you guys and honest that of why it's not going to be racing at the end of the month. So, as you guys have known, if you've been following along with our uploads lately, I know we've had several, and there's probably some that just tune in for this car, but we had an issue at our last track day. At the end of the, the track day, we couldn't get the car up on boost. Well, that ended up being a, a hole in the back of the intercooler. It had separated. So we brought the car over to Ranchville, and that's why it was here, and they were building us a custom shifter lockout for the car, so we couldn't money shift the car again like we've done twice. So, while it was here, they fixed that, they built the shifter, they had the car ready to go for the event, I went ahead and of course not recording because they don't like cameras around there. They're just not used to being on cameras. And you know, some people aren't and that's perfectly fine. So I just normally don't bring cameras with me when I go there. So with that being said, I went ahead and tested launch control in the car just to make sure the car was gonna come up on boost. Make sure we didn't have any other broken collectors or any issues. Cause as you guys have seen in that video, we also had damaged our header manifold too on the flex joint. So the car came up on boost green lights came up on the dash i was just getting ready to lift my foot off because obviously it was already it built this boost and i wasn't going to launch the car i was just testing and unfortunately the engine came apart in the car now this motor that you guys have seen in the car is the same one that we built originally for when we were first starting the car and this is the same one we went to iowa with the car went on the dyno it made roughly around you know 20 to 25 hits on the dyno while we were getting the motec sorted and obviously making its highest number 11 18 wheel horsepower then you fast forward we go to texas the car doesn't really work because it really wasn't ready we were still dealing with wiring wiring gremlins and getting the car to be sorted and worked out so that was our first test we should have done more but we didn't so we went to texas it didn't work we made one pass car overheated because the coolant fans weren't on so it's just little things like that guys that we just didn't test wasn't on the car so we come back from texas after having a camshaft failure there too and we start testing with the car. I did one-to-one -one the car, and that obviously 
did some damage of some sort, but I continued to keep uh, driving the car. Dang it, I freaking missed my damn turn. That's what I get for trying to do this, guys. But anyway, so we came back from Texas. We went to Woodburn. We did have one good run at that day. We went 9.6 at 161. And then the car had pushed uh, coolant water into the overflow. We had later found that we had a cracked cylinder head. Now that was after we went to the other event and the clutch switch wasn't working and we money shift the car. Then we continued to race the car, obviously. When it came back with the cracked head, I replaced the head on the engine and we put the car back together. Same short walk, guys. And we went back out with the car, constantly testing again, still you know running into new software issues and wiring issues with the car. And we finally started to get the car to work, as you guys saw. And when we went to Portland, it was cutting 1460 foot the whole night, but it was shutting itself down on the one two shift because the throttle wasn't synced. Now, I got frustrated that night, got back into it even though I shouldn't have, and went second gear, revved it all the way out, and grabbed first. Again, we money shift the car. Break the transmission, that's when we broke the front diff on the trans. So we come back, I change the oil in the car, knowing we've money shifted it twice. We know the thing's getting hurt, guys. I mean, obviously after one money shift, we should have rebuilt, but we continue on. We put the stock transmission in the car. That's when we went out. We finally got the car to go A to B. It went 9.3 at 158, was spinning a good portion of that time with a factory STI transmission in the car. No more dog box. So after that event, I went ahead, we fixed the dog box. That's when I brought it to Ranchfield to get the issue fixed with the header and to get the shifter lockout made so we didn't money shift this car again. And that is finally when the engine decided, you know what? I've had enough. And I can't complain at all. This engine has done so much for us as far as getting this car prepared and ready and going through issue after issue. And this is all part of racing, guys. This is just not always showed from everyone. There's always going to be goods and bads. You know, you're going to have your highs and your lows. You know, we tuned the car down on Iowa, 20, 25 passes on the motor there on a dyno, which is really hard on it. Then we came back. You guys obviously know I took over tuning the car. The car went on another dyno. I did 27 hits on the dyno, all above 850 wheel on it, and ranging from 850 wheel all the way up to 1,000 plus on that dyno. And it was having spinning issues on it, and that's why we stopped. Then I went back out, and you guys know I'm huge about trap speed, so I didn't want to claim any numbers from the dyno. I just wanted to go out and prove it. The car did go 158, guys. The car is a, a pig. That's one thing I want to work on, too, is the car weighs 3130 with me in it, and this jackass is in my way. Move, lady. Let me get on in here first, guys. Oh, it's so nice that turning radius in this thing. But, back at it again. The car is a pig. So we gotta work on getting the weight down on the car. Car weighs 3130 with me in it. So it is definitely a pig. It's trapped 158 to 161 on my tune at trap 158. So the car makes power. We've had issues. And then you're probably guessing, trying to wonder what came apart in the engine. Well guys, what came apart in the engine was it decided to drop a valve. And obviously if you know anything about engines, dropping a valve, not good. So with dropping the valve, it took out the entire long block in the car. You know, the cylinder head's junk. The short block is junk. Obviously the piston, I mean, you might be able to save a short block, but there's no real point to. And I'm just trying to find somewhere to park so I can run into the bank real quick. So, the whole long box junk, guys. It's all scrap at this point, which is, you know, to be expected, a little worse failure than I, I wanted to, but we knew a, a motor failure of some sort was coming because we've made so many passes in the car and we've done so much of this motor. I, I can't be mad at all, guys. And that's part of it. We're gonna have the good and the bad of it, like I tell you guys, and we're gonna have the part where we're testing. And I'm excited for our next engine because we are gonna be testing a new head gasket design in the engine. So I'm super excited for that to come. And I'm excited for the next engine to go in the car because we have so much figured out now. You know, we can benefit so much by putting the new engine in the car, have a fresh motor in the car. So. That is what happened. With it taking out the whole on block and it took out the turbo, 
I was gonna try to make something happen. As you guys always know, I try to go last minute to getting ready for races. And we have something else that's more important right now that we're focusing on. And I keep leaving you guys hints and giving you tips. We have something else going on in the background right now that I'm really working towards. And it just didn't make sense to pull away from that and rush to get the scene together for the event at the end of the month. So with that being said, we are gonna start fixing the car. We need to order two new cylinder heads. We need to get those things ported again, obviously. And we're gonna have to order um, a new case from out front and we're gonna have to build a new motor for the car. Uh, the turbo is hurt, so we're gonna have to ship that thing off to Precision and get that thing rebuilt. It's pretty haggard anyways, guys, from one thing with having this front-facing turbo. In the burnout box, it just eats this thing alive. So I gotta think about that more when we're going into it, and I know some of you are gonna say, well, put a turbo guard on it. Well, the only turbo guards we can put on here that are sufficient enough for what we're doing is gonna be the ones with the big holes in them, and, and I'm not, not doing very much at that point. So. I don't prefer to have them on anyways. I don't like the look of it. I don't care to have it. It's a race car. I just need to think about it more when we're going up to the burnout box, not to pull up when someone's doing a burnout because it gets rocks in the turbo. That's what ends up happening and it chips the wheel. So we picked up the car. I just want to be transparent with you guys, show you, tell you what's going on. You know, there's going to be some people in the comments that are going to hate on us, you know, and they're going to say, oh, normal Subaru, Subaru problems, all this bullshit. You know what, guys? It's a four cylinder engine that's making well over 250 horsepower per cylinder i mean come on guys give it a break car made 1118 on 45 pounds and we have backed that up with our trap speeds of 161 and on my tune 158 so we plan to go much further with the car i was just getting ready to turn the car up more i have known it's been hurt since we did that street hit for you guys after that i've noticed it was down on compression on starting and to be honest with you guys i mean this is the furthest we've gone with a set of head gaskets on the car you know we're constantly testing and growing with a car at this level there is no for sure answers or ways out there you know especially when you're doing your own products and building your own motors you know so i knew the car was down on compression usually what that's from is all the heat on our exhaust valves should have pulled it apart but you know i work very closely with our guys at our cylinder head shop and we work closely in test on the car we both agreed screw it we're gonna send it and this is the cost of it so that's what's gonna happen to va guys and that's what's been happening with it so it will not be making it to the event at the end of the month i do apologize guys i really was excited about making that event but we have plenty others going we have josh we have travis and we have jr we have aaron which you guys have seen shortly on the channel with the white sti those guys are all going to be out there. I'm going to be supporting them. So I just wanted to touch base on that and talk through this day. Most of this video is going to be talking. And this is going to wrap this video up for the most part. I might put in a clip when we're over at Andrews. If not, this is going to wrap it up, guys. That's what's going on with VA. Just an update for you guys. Trying to keep up with our daily uploads as well. So I hope you guys are enjoying this content and enjoying seeing the daily uploads. It is a lot of work, guys. I'm trying my best for you. But that's going to be it for now until I have any more updates. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Thanks for listening to me blab on and talk. to keep you guys in the loop of what's going on. So that way you guys are part of it because you are all part of our team. So thank you guys and have a great day. Pedal to the ground, pedal to the ground, pedal to the ground. Living life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane. Pedal to the ground, pedal to the ground, pedal to the ground. Living life up in the fast lane. Pedal to the ground, pedal to the ground,